Hey everybody, welcome back to Blockchain WTF's wonderful videos on blockchain technology that might seem a little presumptuous, the wonderful part, but I think you're going to like this video. Today we're covering a way to stay secure and private while interacting on the blockchain and doing so via a tool called ZK Snarks. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. So what does ZK Snarks even stand for? It's an acronym that stands for Zero Knowledge, Succinct, Non-Interactive Argument of Knowledge. Confused? You should be. Don't worry, we're gonna break it down, but all you need to know for now is that ZK Snarks are a great way to interact with unknown parties in a secure and private manner. It establishes trust, which you need to interact on the blockchain. So let's look at the zero knowledge part of the ZK Snarks, the ZK, so to speak. Well. What does it do? It gives users the possibility to prove that they, in fact, know something without actually divulging that private information. And this is all done without any direct interaction between the prover and verifier. So what is a zero knowledge proof? Well, it gives users the possibility to prove that they, in fact, know something or satisfy a requirement without actually divulging that private information. And this is all done without any direct interaction between the prover and verifier. Not all sources that you're going to want to interact with via the blockchain are trusted, but to interact with them, you might have to prove certain conditions are met before they can verify that they can complete a transaction. The best example of a situation where ZK snarks are needed is if you need to prove you have sufficient funds to send to the verifier to purchase something. You don't want to share exactly how much money you have in your bank account or give that person control to your bank account. You're just trying to prove that you have sufficient funds to make that one purchase, proving you meet that threshold. So it turns out ZK Snarks are also a great way to prove your identity. So let's check out exactly how that works. How can you verify you are who you actually are saying via ZK Snarks? So how would you go about verifying your identity on the blockchain? Well, theoretically, you're the only one who has access to your private key. And if you could prove that you have access to that private key, well, it's probably you. So let's go over an example. In this scenario, Alice is trying to prove her identity while Bob is trying to verify Alice's identity. Alice is the prover, Bob is what's known as the verifier. And Bob has to verify that Alice is in fact who she says she is, and Alice has to use her private key to prove her identity. But Alice can't simply hand over a private key to prove her identity, as that would give Bob total control over her funds. So how do you prove that you have access to your private key without sharing the actual private key? Well, that's the exact purpose of ZK Snarks. So Bob comes up with a secret message and doesn't tell Alice what it is. He encrypts that message using Alice's public key or address and sends it to Alice. Bob then asks Alice to decode the message with her private key. The only thing that could decode the message that Bob encoded with Alice's public key. And if Alice is who she says she is, then she should be able to decode that text using her private key and send it back in plain text. If Bob's message is decoded correctly, then he can reasonably suspect that the recipient is actually Alice. However, there is a very small chance that an imposter Alice <laughs> could guess this message correctly. So the process is repeated several times. If it is the correct Alice, she should be able to correctly decode each message. If Alice gets even some of the messages incorrect, Bob is able to deduce that the individual he is interacting with is an imposter. ZK Snarks isn't the easiest thing to grasp, so if you have any questions, throw those below down into the comments. While you're there, subscribe, like, and hit that bell for notifications of all our great videos. Uh, if you want any more information on blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and the like, head over to Blockchain WTF. We'll keep you updated on all the goings on in blockchain and cryptocurrency land. I'm Jeremy from Blockchain WTF, and I'll see you next time.